Hi everyone, this is Sudarshan, CEO at Beversity. So we've asked ChatGPT some of the most searched questions about biotech jobs and I will decode it for you guys today. Okay, so let's see what is the top first question in ChatGPT. What are the highest paying jobs in biotechnology? Okay, I think this is going to be the question that is there predominantly in a lot of students' mind. So according to the industry, I think two major jobs or two major kind categories of jobs are the high paying jobs. One is anything to do with data, anything to work with analyzing data, putting things together is high paying. The other thing is in the executives, the management kind, people who can handle products, marketing, branding and the operations of the products are the highest paying jobs. So same when it comes to biotech industry, we know that this industry has moved way bef- way long from being a service based industry to a product based industry, which means in the product based biotech industry, it just revolves around three things. One is data, it is driven by data, it is driven by marketing it is dri- and it is driven by technologies. Okay, so in this product based biotech industry, bioinformatics, genomics and data sciences is one of the most highest paying jobs because you need to handle data, you need to work with data, every other product based company is working with data and the other thing is since it's a product based industry, you need people with management skill sets or managerial skill sets to handle different streams of the business. I think these are the two most highest paying jobs in the biotech industry, you can go ask, talk to people about it as well. Let's look at the second question. What educational background is required for a biotech career? Okay, I think this is a very interesting question because if you ask me 10 years ago, what is the educational background required for a biotech career? I would definitely say PhD is the basic qualification. But today in this product based biotech industry, the ratio has changed. Today, PhD is not required for you to actually start a product, actually start a job in this industry because this industry is not anymore research focused or it's not anymore research driven industry. It is a product driven industry. So even after your bachelor's or master's in biotechnology or the relevant specializations, you can today kickstart your career. You necessarily do not need a PhD to kickstart. But if you have a bachelor's and master's relevant to today's uh, industry skill sets, you can definitely kickstart your career. Third question, what skills are essential for success in biotech? Okay, um, I think here I would love to address in two different ways. One is technical skills. Definitely when I say technical skills, we are talking about the domain that we are in. If you are working in diagnostic industry, healthcare industry, agriculture industry, or the core biopharma, whatever it is, you need the domain industry skill sets I'm talking about. What kind of softwares they use, what kind of technologies they are using currently, you need to know them. On the other hand, in complementing to the technical skills, you should also have great personality. I wouldn't consider that as skills, but you should definitely have a great personality or an attitude towards your job. Uh, To most of the biotech leaders, who run companies who are in the CXO's positions, if you ask them what will help them or what will help a fresher go up the ladder in the job, they would say personality, attitude, confidence, the way you talk, the way you're able to present things. I think we can put them under soft skills, right? So I think these are some of the most important skill sets necessary for you to actually grow your career, not just technical skill sets, guys. What are the emerging trends in biotech jobs okay what are the most emerging trends in biotech jobs i'm sure i don't need to explain more about this we are looking at the number of companies that is go that is growing that is coming up in india across the world in the biotech industry we have a lot of industries being adopted technology majorly i wouldn't say just aiml but the entire biotech industry has adopted technology at its core to drive a lot of things right from the processes right from the operations even their products are driven by technologies like say AI ML and a lot of data uh, play a major role so the emerging trends is definitely leveraging technology or I would call it as digital transformation uh, I think even Jensen Hong CEO of NVIDIA as he rightly pointed out saying that after many 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 centuries 
biology is seen as an engineering rather than science for the very first time right which is like amazing so we are working a lot on the digital transformation end right from healthcare agriculture to biopharma everywhere digital transformation is happening i think that is the huge trend that is right now been happening in the biotech industry itself and the final question what is the job outlook for the biotech industry so i think this is where most of us or most of the students get stuck because the problem is we wouldn't know what as a job looks like in the biotech industry or what are even the job roles out there so i would just take two industry as an example say one on the other hand we have diagnostics industry which is huge industry in india on the other hand i take healthcare and health tech industry for me to explain the job outlook so if you look at diagnostic industry it basically at the core it is driven by data right which means you need to have a lot of data analysis at the skill sets majorly to fill up the jobs or to even fill up for what the company is been doing so one of the major job outlook in such diagnostics companies are since it's a biotech industry they majorly work with dna rna and proteins right so one of the major job outlook there or the job roles there looks like say genome analyst or bioinformatician analyst or say computational biologist analyst or say research analyst i think these are some of the job roles or job profiles that you could look at if you are kick starting your career as a fresher right and what is this job requires is majorly you having data analysis skill sets you able to put together data you able to manage handle data you able to extract data and how do you use technology in doing all of these things i think this is one in demand job profile that you could build up for yourself if you are there in the biotech industry and the second thing is like i said again health tech and healthcare industry again there it's not a very different job profile to say say if you are not a wet lab person if you are someone who loves to work on computers if someone if you are someone who wants to work in a corporate industry if someone you want to also be get paid high like your other peers in the it industry i think these are two major domains that you can look at the job profiles out there because it majorly revolves around data it majorly revolves around analysis it majorly revolves around you using tools and softwares to basically make an impact to the customers to the problem statement that this industry is solving for so yes so if you would ask me the major job outlook for the biotech industry i think one major job outlook is genome analysis or say to put together say any kind of analysis that works with dna rna protein data and you being able to have good management or product management skill sets to handle these digital and physical products out there so that's it for today guys i hope uh, you got some answers to the questions that was running in your head and i'm sure that you we will be doing a lot of more such series answering a lot of questions for you that is there in your mind uh stay tuned until then if you think this video would add value to any of your friends please do share it across